Today in Review This Thing, we're gonna review this thing, the Whit Machine Custom Clamp-On Brake. Have you wanted to try a muzzle brake on your rifle, but you don't have a rifle that is threaded? Well then, the Whip Machine Clamp-On Brake may be just what you're looking for. Now, before you stop here and go to the comments, I 100% know that you can take your barrel to a gunsmith and get it threaded. But sometimes you just don't want to do that. So if you don't, then this is an option you can take a look at. A couple of years ago, I got my first rifle that had a threaded barrel and it came with a muzzle brake on it. And since then, I have been sold. I absolutely love shooting with a muzzle brake. Now, I know that muzzle brakes make the shot louder. It causes a lot more percussion for those people around you. But for me, that huge difference in the reduction of recoil is a game changer. When I was researching the Whip Machine website for the SME review, that we did last year, I saw this clamp on break and knew that it was something we were definitely going to have to try. We've had it a few months, had some fun shooting it, so let's review this thing. You know the drill, let's cover the facts. First part is fit. Fit for the whip machine clamp on brake is gonna be really easy to score. And that is because the brakes are custom made for your rifle. When you go into their website and go to the ordering section, it tells you exactly how to measure. You're gonna measure at the muzzle as well as an inch and a half, I believe, up the barrel. And those measurements tell them exactly how to machine the brake. I will point out that you're gonna need a caliper and it's specific the type that you need. So make sure you read all the directions so you do it right the first time. One thing I wanna mention just as a safety precaution is that because they are custom made for your rifle, don't switch it out and put it on multiple rifles because there's no guarantee those are going to be exactly the same. Then once you have the brake on your rifle, remove the bolt and take a look down the barrel so you can just make sure there aren't any obstructions before you shoot it. Once you've done that, it should be good to go. We have ours on this Remington 700 in 308. We've got it fit on there perfectly. So because of that, we're going to give it a 5 out of 5. Now is the whip machine clamp on brake as advertised. So the first thing they advertise is that it makes your gun more fun to shoot. I touched on this earlier, but having a muzzle brake makes shooting a lot more fun for me. I'm not a very big person. I'm 5'4", weigh 130, 135 pounds. So for me, felt recoil is generally pretty significant. So having a muzzle brake that decreases that recoil makes it so much more fun for me to shoot. I'm definitely not anticipating the recoil, and then I think all of that has made me a lot more accurate because I can just relax and take the shot. The next, they advertise that it greatly reduces recoil and muzzle rise. Now, my husband primarily did the testing with this brake, so I want to show you a few of the videos we did. In this video, he is shooting that Remington 700-308 without a muzzle brake. And you can see that there is definitely some muzzle rise, definitely some recoil. And here he is shooting that same gun once we put the whip machine clamp on brake on it. From this video, it's easy to see that the recoil is significantly decreased. And especially if you watch the muzzle rise, you can see that there's almost no muzzle rise with this brake on it. So it definitely does both of those things. Next, they advertise it can be installed with hand tools. I can't show you us installing it because YouTube doesn't like that. But just just know that we were able to do it with hand tools. And finally, they say it's the most efficient clamp-on brake in the market. We only have this one. I haven't tried other clamp-on brakes, so I don't have anything to compare it to, but I absolutely feel like this is very efficient, easy to put on, easy to shoot, and it does a great job. So because of that, we're going to give, as advertised, a 5 out of 5. Now into construction and durability. So first of all, I want to make sure you know that these are made in the USA. I absolutely love being able to tell you that, so I want to tell you that first. The whip machine brakes are made of 416 stainless steel, and you can see that the one we have here is covered with a graphite black Cerakote, which should help with weather resistance. The whip machine brake seems to be very sturdy. It's not incredibly heavy, so it doesn't mess up the balance of your rifle, but it does feel heavy duty enough to withstand the forces of the shot and then to be shot repeatedly. We've checked it after we've shot it several times, and there doesn't appear to be any creep anywhere, no twisting, anything like that. So once it was on there, it stayed in place really well. Now do keep in mind it's very possible that this brake is going to change the harmonics of the gun, so you're definitely going to want to side it in with the brake on there. I read a few other people say that it didn't change it much or just a couple inches, but whenever we put it on, it significantly changed the right to left. It actually moved the impact about seven inches to the right. It was very consistent still, but it definitely moved it. So always shoot it with it on there before you go hunting. Now as far as construction, I do want to talk about mounting the brake real quick because I think it's important and it's also pretty smart the way that they've designed these. Again, I can't show you, so I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about it. So there are four screws that mount the brake, and there's only one side of the holes that are threaded. So in order to make sure it fits on there, you put the screws on the opposite side to open it up, make sure it's snug as far as you can get it, and then you put the screws on the other side and tighten it. And that's how you make sure that it's all the way on there and it's tight enough that it's not going to move around. Whip Machine provides ample instruction to make sure you do this all correctly, so check out their website, follow the instructions so that you know you've got it on there like it's supposed to be. The design of this brake is what makes it so effective. Each side has five different ports, which do a phenomenal job of directing as much percussive force as possible out to the sides so that you're not getting that recoil. It also has 20 little holes on top of the 
break, which is why you don't have as much muzzle rise. The air blows out the top, which kind of helps push it down. The other cool thing is that there are not holes on the bottom, which means you're not going to get debris and stuff blown back at you from the ground because nothing's going to blow out the bottom. As far as durability, we've put several rounds through it, not hundreds or thousands, but several, and it's held up really well. It, it's still maintaining uh, zero and it's still maintaining really good grooves. And as I mentioned, we haven't seen any shift or twisting of the brake itself. Now, if you have shot hundreds or thousands of rounds through one of these brakes, comment below and let everybody know how it's holding up for you, maybe how many rounds you've put through it and what you think about it. So far, we've been really happy with construction and durability, so because of that, we're going to give it a 5 out of 5. Now on to testimonials and reviews. Because these are custom brakes, the only place you can buy these is directly from Whip Machine through their website. Therefore, that's the only place there are reviews. So all 257 of their reviews were stellar, no complaints, 5 out of 5. Anytime I see that, I always want to look around and just see if I can find something negative somewhere. So I looked at a few other forums and places like that. First, let me point out, it appears that these Whip Machine clamp-on brakes have been around for 10 plus years, so they've had plenty of time to perfect them, and most of the comments people had were all positive as well. Well. Now, there are those diehard threaded barrel folks who have terrible things to say because they think they're stupid, and you should just go get your barrel threaded because it's going to be less precision and you're not going to be as accurate. Most people that I know that want something like this just want something that's going to make their rifle more comfortable to shoot. The only other real complaint that I could find is that a lot of people just say that they think they're ugly. I don't really care about the aesthetics. I don't think they're that ugly, but the main thing for me is that it works and it does what it's supposed to do. We take the score we found, so because of that, we're going to give it a 5 out of 5. Okay, here we go. Should you buy this thing? So here's the deal. If you have a rifle that's not threaded and you don't want to mess with a gunsmith, then the clamp-on brake from Whip Machine is a fantastic option. It's made specifically to fit your gun. It's easy to install. It does a great job of decreasing recoil and muzzle rise. It makes it a lot more comfortable to shoot your gun. And I haven't mentioned this yet, but the price on this is $99. For me, $99 is a small price to pay to make sure that the gun is a lot more fun to shoot so you can get more reps in, get more consistent, and then hopefully be a lot more accurate. So because of that, should you buy the Whip Machine Clamp-On Brake? 5 out of 5. Hey, thanks for watching our Whip Machine Clamp-On Brake video. While you're here, watch a bunch of other videos. Check out the SME video. Check out the Area 419 Hellfire video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you really, really like what we do, consider subscribing to our channel. Also, take a second and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and on TikTok.